the mouse. If you think about it, the idea is pretty simple. A device that has a little sensor underneath, so it can detect if it moved, and also two buttons to click, and a scroll wheel that can not only spin, but be used as a third button. All of this in a package that, if you're a developer, then nine times out of ten, you hate it. You have seen the title and you've seen the title card that was just shown a few seconds ago and so you know what this video is about. But why am I doing this? Well, if you're a developer, programmer, coder, software engineer, or whatever you like to call yourself, then first of all you probably use a computer, and second of all, on that computer, you write code with a text editor. And the one key thing most of these text editors share, they're all keyboard focused. Like, there's the obvious ones, like Vim being a good example, as by default it doesn't even recognize mouse input and relies well, entirely on the user switching between different modes. And then there's Emacs, which has 7 million different keyboard shortcuts, so you don't even need to touch the mouse. Even VS Code, which could be thought as one of the most mouse friendly, has most of its users add something like the Vim plugin to add all the features that Vim has to get around using the mouse, or just add a bunch of keybinds. Pretty much every text editor either does what VS Code does or what Vim or Emacs does and trying to force you away from using the mouse. That might sound pretty obvious as code is just text and text is just lots of letters which keyboards have lots of buttons for which the mouse doesn't have quite as many. Well unless you get one that has pretty much an entire keyboard's worth of buttons strapped to the side of it but that's the exception and most of them just have the three buttons and that's it. That did give me what might be the best idea though, being a text editor that forces you to use the mouse and forget the keyboard, you know, just to find out how uh, interesting that would be to use. Okay, well there's no better way to start then with a black screen. Okay, now there's some panels, panes or something that I can type in. And now a text cursor that can move around with the mouse, that can also select some things. And a context menu so that my clerk can actually do something. But the big feature, the reason that will make this the best text editor ever thought of, the action wheel. Hold down middle click and a menu pops up that lets you finally give up the keyboard. Pretty much every character can be typed through this, every letter, number and symbol, uh, though some of them you do need to also hold down right click to. Well now what, I could just end the video here, but it just feels a little underdeveloped, like I'm missing some big thing. I know, the perfect idea, AI. So the annoying thing is that you need to click each character one by one and try and find them in the wheel, but what if an AI could just suggest the next character and make you not even need to go find it? The AI itself would be pretty simple, it would just be a neural network that can see the last few characters you type and give you its guess on what the next one will be. I'll just teach it by giving it some example code and letting it practice on that. You can just use it by opening up the action wheel and there it is at the top listing out all the letters by how likely I'm going to use them. Now to test this, a simple just hello world. Okay, so the keyboard is about eight times faster. How is someone writing code? Okay, let's just do this again, but this time it'll write some code that prints out hello world to the screen. Wow, uh, 12 times slower. So long has a time lapse uh, again. I guess there actually was a good reason for all these text editors to be keyboard based. Why did I do this? Oh yeah, it was just some random thought I had in the back of my head that I wanted to see become real. Okay, this is the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. It's a little different from my other videos because I want to try something new, but the Evolution Simulator video should be back soon. If you have any ideas you might want to see made, then comment them down below. And who knows, it might become a video one day. Like, subscribe, comment, and see you in the next video.